Hello everyone. Today we're gonna enable the USB boot for Acer Aspire ES1533. I'm sorry for the shaking video, you know, that is a kind of disturbance while holding the phone with one hand. Alright, so for Aspire ES1533 or whatever the last three digit does not matter, that is almost the same. By the way, <clears throat> first of all, we're going to check a couple of details about the BIOS. Okay, and then we're going to reinstall the Windows from bootable Windows 10. I have both versions. I have UEFI based bootable USB and legacy one. But unfortunately, this machine doesn't support uh, the legacy one. Anyway, so first of all, what we need to do, we need to switch off the one. And we need to connect our bootable uh, Windows 10 uh, USB drive. And then, as you can see, this is uh, the battery indicator. And the next one is the power light, which is turned off. So once we press the power button, it's going to turn into blue. And either we need to keep pressing F2. And if you don't see anything on the screen, don't be surprised. That is quite common. What are you going to do? Uh, we're going to... Uh, keep pressing and then we're gonna wait okay sometimes it take a little bit of time so press F2 once you see the Acer logo keep pressing it now as you can see we are in the main screen of the BIOS now there are a couple of details things in here as you can see the information bar it tells about the model number which is SR Aspire ES1 dash 533 so SR Aspire ES1 whatever the number is those are almost same honestly in BIOS okay so I do have both uh, USB bootable as I mentioned earlier in this video I'm going to try one by one okay unfortunately this ES1 doesn't support any legacy bootable USB boot remember it uh, for the example I'm going to plug it in and I will show you it doesn't boot anything from legacy so now I'm telling before you ask me the question I know a lot of people they're gonna leave comments like hey um, I tried to boot it up from the USB bootable USB it didn't work the reason is might be your one is legacy or your USB might be was not burning properly or it was not created properly that's the reason why it happened anyway so the second option is the security in here we should uh, find something is called um, secure boot which one we didn't find it the next one as you can see this is all about the boot boot priority at the top section as you can see the boot mode is UEFI secure boot is enable but when we try to go on the top it doesn't work at all it's completely grayed out why because you are not authorized to change the UEFI there is no any chance anyway so there is nothing else to do we did check in the main there is no any option and as you can see the GPT partition recovery also you know uh, this is also indication of UEFI anyway so now we did not change anything which is absolutely fine uh, you don't need to worry about anything uh, make sure the F12 is enabled I mean F12 bootman is enabled I'm really sorry for the shaky video now these are two one of them EVFI Windows 10 that's the one 8 gig I created recently okay so this one we'll try later and uh, this one the legacy bootable one and we're gonna try this I have couple of them so we need to check if it does work okay so first of all make sure you put it in I mean you connect into the USB and then we're gonna press F10 to save the changes while it's connected as you can see the light that's mean the USB is readable now let's press F10 and once we click on F10 it's gonna ask to restart and it's gonna change the settings whatever we did whatever we played around okay and as you can see the boot priority option don't worry about it 
because we can get into boot menu directly by F tools. Okay. So now I'm gonna press F tools. I'm gonna hit enter and the system gonna restart. As soon as you see it's dark or whatever until you see the Acer logo on the screen, make sure you keep tapping, pressing the F tool. Now I can see the blinking of the light, still pressing it. Now there are two options. Option one, which is the boot manager, Windows one. Option two, USB, which is that one, as you can see the light. Okay. Now we'll try to select that one by pressing down the arrow and hit enter. As you can see it says secure boot fail. So what does it mean secure boot fail? That's mean either something wrong on the BIOS as you can see there is no any Windows setup page anyway. Now this is the second one which one I'm going to try this is also UEFI based. Now if this one does work that's mean the previous one the USB had something wrong. That's the reason why it was not working. So if you see the same scenario with you does happen, then make sure don't do panic. Keep changing it or reburn it. Okay, recreate it. Now again, I'm gonna press F12. I'm just waiting for the uh, light to see on the screen or either the Acer logo. Okay, I can see the light. Now keep pressing F12. Keep pressing it, keep pressing it, keep tapping. All right. So now I can see on the number two, which is the sand disk on. Okay. I'm going to hit enter. And then now we can see there is a logo without any error messages on the screen. So that means something is happening on the background. Anyway, I will let it go. I'll wait for, let's say, maximum couple of minutes and unfortunately my usb flash drive doesn't have any uh indicator light so i don't know if there is anything happening on the background anyway we can see the little circle which one uh, uh is the indication of please wait something like that okay so now again the screen is dark blue screen that's mean it does working okay just as you can see this is the Windows setup page all right that's what we were looking for now it's very simple let's talk about this previous one this one does have issue that's the reason why it didn't work so if it does happen to you make sure you do recreate as I said earlier in this video anyway so now it's very simple we're gonna follow a couple of steps and then the main process would begin. So I'm gonna choose the United Kingdom and whatever I need to do. And then hit next. And then install now. And setup is starting. Sometimes it takes maximum couple of minutes to go to the next page, so don't worry. Just wait for it. Now accept the terms and condition. So in here you need to choose if you really want to do the clean installation that that one and in that way you're going to lose everything if you delete all these partitions so now i need clean installation so i'm going to delete all of them shouldn't take that long if it does that mean I'm worried about the hard drive health, okay? Let's delete this one as well. Okay. And I'm gonna delete this one. And the recovery also, I don't need it. So this one, as you can see, almost two TV. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a partition. I'm gonna make nine to zero, just to make kind of one TV. So to create the partition is gonna be take a little bit of time.
as you can see some kind of partial partition came up here which one the system did it by itself it's absolutely fine you don't need to worry about the other stuff okay so now i'm going to choose one of the drive and click next once i click on next then the actual installation process would progress and it's going to go up to 100 percent then it's going to ask like couple of uh permission about the settings you know kind of the cameras microphone and how it would work all the permissions from the user and then it's going to ask me to choose the name and password if you i want to if i don't want i can skip it and then it would be absolutely ready so that's how you get into bios um, and enable the usb boot remember for this acer model it doesn't have option for legacy it does have only for uefi okay still if you do have any question about this acer es1 then feel free to leave it in the comment section and i hope i'll see you in the next video guys bye for now thank you